Hello everyone, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Crusader Kings 2 in our Lord of the Scots series. We are conquering Mercia at long last. It has been way too long while we've been trying to fabricate or just really claim land here by any means possible. Um, not just necessary, but possible. And we managed to fabricate a really nice claim. We're trying to fabricate another one on Essex now. Um, but... The big win about conquering Mercia and having most of it under our control, let's pay them a visit real quick, is that it's going to go a long way towards advancing our ambition of controlling 80% of the British Isles and establishing the Empire of Britannia. What we're going to have to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have money. Let's repay the Jews. Now, it's going to reduce our war chest a little bit, but we'll be okay. Very good. Yeah, we were going to use that money that we were getting from winning these battles to... Repay the Jews, and we definitely did. That was the plan. So we now no longer have a negative effect. Oh, King Macbeth is aged. He's 30 now. You can tell he looks older. He's not the handsomest lad in the world. Okay, almost done with these battles here. We're at 56% war score. Alright, time to bring this guy to, to Warwick. And start taking over their capital. We're at 64% war score now. Just kidding, 71. And now we're going to pay a visit to this army. And also, by virtue of doing this, we're going to fight this army, kill them. Uh, or at least hopefully kill them. And then we're also going to take over Derbyshire, as they say. <laughs> this is this is Derbyshire. Um, or Derby, if you will. If you want. Call it what you will. Let's see... Dangerous factions. Oh, no. How is... Wait, what? Why? Why? How is this even a thing? All right. We can definitely improve people's opinions of us by a lot. So you guys are all going to get money. Have a nice day. Leave me alone. All right. That faction is gone. Ridiculous. I am an awesome king, and I deserve your allegiance. How dare you try and form a faction against me? I really do like that they improved the, the amount by which gold gifts... Um... What? 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 Uh, uh, why, 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 what, is he, he's, he's Catholic, I'm Catholic, what's, what's his Casus Belli, what's going on, what, I have never, ever had this happen to me in Crusader Kings. Where you, I, I'm having a Christian ruler declare war on me. I don't see any relationship. French Scottish de jure war over Balloon. Okay, so he wants Balloonia. That's what it is. That's the Casus Belli. All right, fine. Well, <laughs> this is this is gonna get ugly. Well, tell you what. You know what? You know what? You know what? No. 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 Offer peace. Surrender. Just going to give it to him. Just going to give it to him. I mean, <laughs> there's, I don't want to fight France, and I don't really want that land either, to tell you the truth. So I'm just going to give it to him. I, I, I did not want that land to begin with. If he wants it because it's de jure part of France, then so be it. It's yours. Take it. Now, why do I have righteous imprisonment? Duke Malefabale, he's trying to fabricate a claim on the Kingdom of Scotland. Would you kindly stop it? And what what battles are we losing exactly? All right, there is a relatively large force here. I should probably pay, it, pay them a visit. So let's march my retinue down and try and get some damage done here. There's, there are a number of little armies that are suddenly... My armies are less powerful than they were. Alright, wait. 
Hang on, we're gonna let these guys march. He's coming to Durham to fight us, which is not gonna go well for him. All right, that's done. Let's pay a visit to these guys now. Betrothed can marry. We're at 86% war support, very good. Let's pause things for a second. Oh my God, so much is happening. Propose that Murray and Claremonda get married. So Claremonda, oh yes, she's the genius. Oh, by all means, yes, 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 yes. Let's bring some additional good traits into the fold. Prince Duff is impulsive and seems unable to tell right from wrong. What should I do with my wayward son? So he's arbitrary. It's the strap for him. We don't want Duff to be arbitrary. That would be terrible. All right, so we're a few victories away, I think, from being able to declare victory in this war. All right, so they've accepted that suggestion, even though that was already a betrothal, so it should have already been suggested. I don't even, okay. Um, Ninety-four <laughs> percent. Let's pay a visit to these guys here. They're trying to siege Leicester and take it back. So our retinue is going to come in and storm them. Usually goes pretty well, but these troops might be stronger. We'll see. One children lacks a guardian. Prince Alistair. Uh, this is this is our son. Now let's have Macbeth. We're, we're going to raise him ourselves. We're going to do our best to have as much control. Uh-oh. Is our retinue actually dying? Well, that is a first. Our, our retinue lost that battle. That has not happened. Our retinue finally got its butt kicked. All right, well, I don't have any control to give them orders right now, but, I mean, the war's almost over anyway, so... Adopt the Marshal's ideas, sure. Okay, I'm hearing some coughing. That's not good. We've also got a lot of raiders out. Just lots happening at once. A little bit too much, to tell you the truth. Alright, I've I, I, I don't want to do this, but I feel like I have to. I've these guys Yeah, I've 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 gotta break these guys. I, I just gave up on one of the sieges that I was fighting, but I've gotta defeat this army. And that might even give me the war. It did. Pause. Enforce demands. Mine! Why did... I'm so mad. And maybe I won't be this angry in the future when I understand why I didn't get these two territories. I had a claim on the petty kingdom of Mercia, which the game showed me was all of this. Why do I get just this crap down here? Why? What is the reason? Why do, why are these two suddenly not part of the, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be this annoyed, but like, again, the amount of detail in, in this game is amazing and it is just as fun as it is obnoxious. And the other way around is just as obnoxious as it is fun. And sometimes more so one than the other. You are threatening. Okay. Whatever. Vassal inheritance warning. All right. Got a lot going on now. This That was supposed to be a glorious victory. Didn't even get all the territory I was expecting. So how? what percentage dare I even look? What percentage do I control of Britannia? I control 55%. Yay, I gained 6% of Britannia. Ugh. Um... Hmm. I'm... That's... Uh, oh, okay. I'm annoyed. Uh, one thing that I could potentially do to speed things up is... Let's see. Kingdom of England. Um, yeah, I don't own nearly enough of the territory in the Kingdom of England. So I, I could declare myself King of England in addition to being King of Scotland as a way of really conquering the remainder of this. But the problem with doing that is that then I would have two equal titles... Uh, which would get split um, until there was a greater title holding the realm, holding the realm together. Excuse me. So I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Um, I've got some other things to handle too. Looks like my domain size is bigger than it can be. Um, 
Lower Crown Authority. All right, well, we're going to send some gifts then. Uh, yeah, let's send some gifts to you. Send a gift to you. And title loss on succession, the Duchy of Mercia. Why? Why are these all title loss on succession? Okay, that went away. Thank no, it didn't. Okay, yes, it did. We would like you to back our plot to kill Bethild Sigil's Dotor. So, is he... Hang on, let's find out who this guy is. I would love to, but uh, I, I need to know who you're trying to kill. I don't, I don't see him. Okay, well, we should know about this plot because our queen is inviting me to it. Yeah, I'm not, I, I don't know who he is. I'm going to decline it. Okay, I, I need to get my bearings on what's happening. All right, so there's a defensive pact that was just formed against me. So who, who controls this now? The petty kingdom of Dera. Where is the crown in Deira? Right here? Okay, well, guess what? We're going to send our chancellor right there. We're going to try and fabricate a claim on that. And maybe when we conquer that, it'll give us all the territory. Although it probably won't, for some stupid reason. I will, again, once I've got this figured out, I'll feel better about it. Right now, I'm pissed off. Because that was highlighted. Why, why don't I get it? Um... Vassal Inheritance Warning. There are vassals with worrisome lines of succession. Baroness Githa of Warwick. So, can I just... No, I can't revoke her title. So this is the Baroness of Warwick. So when she dies, we could actually lose this territory. Don't want to kill her, because then it will definitely go back to Deira. So this is a... <laughs> This is actually, uh, this is our father-in-law that we're trying to go to war with. Um, hang on, let's see what Christina thinks of us on account of all this mess. Nah, she's fine. She's cool, she's happy to be in Scotland. Just kidding, she's depressed. God, it just, honestly, it just kind of takes the wind right out of my sails. You know? And I don't mean to be too negative, but it, it really just kind of takes the wind right out of my sails. I really felt like I had momentum and we're going to conquer this and then maybe take a few of these. But then there's these two random territories I was expecting to get that I just randomly didn't. Why? You know, they, they were part of the petty kingdom and that was what I, that was what I got. That's what I claimed. So anyway, I definitely need to um, do some distribution here. Can I offer vassalization to you? No, he's he's not going to accept that. This guy is independent, so I do need to take that over sooner than later, but I'd rather have this territory first. Is Lancaster also independent? No, Lancaster is actually part of Essex. And Harold, interesting. He actually, we actually had the, the king of, how did we imprison him? I mean, I'm not gonna complain. But what can what can we do here? Huh. Again, we can't offer him vassalization. But we have the we have the boy king of Essex in our dungeons. How that happened, I have no clue, none whatsoever. But uh, but we do. Let me go ahead and finish this off. Also, I am over my domain limit. I'm definitely going to have to distribute some titles here for the first time in a while. First time I've I've 
gained territory in a while. So, got a lot to do. I wonder how my efforts to free those two prisoners have been. I, I never saw anything come of that. So does that mean they went terribly? Christina's pregnant again. <laughs> Alright, Domain is too big. Domain has 9 of 7 holdings. I need to fix that. Also because I have two duchies instead of one. So I have the Duchy of Albany, which has always been mine. The Duchy of Mercia needs to be given up. I would imagine this guy probably wants the Duchy of Mercia. Yes, he does. He's a crappy ruler. He's a lunatic. Uh, so I'm probably not going to give it to him. Yeah, this is this is on Lof. So who should I give the Duchy to? I mean, I've got Murray, our brother, who could be a duke. That would give him an additional vote, which would make him more likely to try and secure power through the elective laws, right? Actually, right now, he doesn't even have a vote. Don't know why. Who could I nominate? Yeah, I've already nominated Duff. Yeah, that's already set. So that's our vote for, for Duff. There's Here's a supporter. So Duke Oust and Duke Roderick are supporting Prince Duncan. Hmm. How can I solve this? Murray would probably be the best person to give it to. Go ahead and make him a duke. He's a strong character. He's in our bloodline. You know, you, you kind of you kind of want your bloodline to control these titles. I just don't know how it will affect things with the electoral stuff. But let, tell you what, Grant landed title. Can I give him? What can I give him? I can give him Warwick, and I can give him Lester. Okay. Murray is now the Duke of Mercy. Of Mercia, excuse me. God help us all. If that was the wrong decision. But, I mean, it's my dynasty. So, I mean, it, power struggles aside, I would imagine it will be okay. It's been a long time since I've appointed a successor in this game. Or, or, or appointed a, a title holder in this game. So, I, I just, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. All right, Prince Duncan, uh, this is for Gillespie. I think, uh, yeah, Christina should be Prince Duncan's ward. All right, so let's unpause things now. Oh, wait, is our domain still? No, it's not. Good, we gained some gold. That's handy. So yeah, we're trying to fabricate, same thing, we're just trying to fabricate on Derby now um, to see if we can get the Petty Kingdom of Deira under our control under the same means, because it worked well last time, might as well try it again. Um, even though it, well, <laughs> it didn't really work well, did it? Rise of the Shia, once again. That's happened a few times. Let's go ahead and cancel this plot, don't need it anymore. And it is the 24th of March, so pretty soon we will be able to hold a summer fair. I don't know what all these defeats are that keep popping up, but... Patience is a virtue, but sometimes it gets on my nerves. My son, Alistair, never loses his temper, always waiting patiently for a chance to retaliate. Good. I cannot abide recklessness. He got a point of intrigue, basically for already being patient when that event fired. All right, so this is Gregarious. And an extra diplomacy point for Duff. That's awesome. So our dynasty continues to grow in strength.
and use our retinue to pay a visit to some of these guys. I think we should be able to defeat them. What's going on here? Form Alliance. Kingdom of Aquitaine. Decline. A daughter was born. Glenna. It's about time I had a daughter. <laughs> Five sons and a daughter. Alright, so thankfully Duke Murray has a very, very, very high opinion of me. And will for some time because I gave him so much power. But I'd much rather my family be in charge of that land than anyone else. Especially a good character like like Murray be in command of it. Let's let alright, tell you what, let's have a look at our situation here. King Ethelstan. Alright, so the current heir, there are four sons now. If we plot to kill this one, this might yeah, this is the same guy we were plotting to kill before. And where is he? He is leading troops in Devon. So he might be kind of hard to catch. So we could go back to the murder route while we're trying to fabricate the claim. We could just wait for the claim to fabricate, or we could try and uh, we can try and marry into it. Alright. Duff has been voted in again, maybe because his stats have changed and people like him more now. I don't know. That's good. <laughs> I'm just so confused. The frustration is wearing off, but now there's just this feeling of I I knew I felt like I knew what was going to happen, and now it's like oh well now I have to do something completely different. I just wish I had an explanation, and I I know I'll get one from you guys. Don't get me wrong, or at least I'm pretty sure I will. Maybe no one will be able to explain it. That, that might be might make me feel a little better, but um, I wish the game would say so. Here's the war. Here's what you gained. Here's what you lost. Um, here's what you um, here's what you thought you were going to gain, and here's why you didn't get it. That would be helpful. But that I'm aware of, there is no such dialogue. It just it highlighted that as the petty kingdom of Mercia, but only gave me this when I won the war. I I, I don't know. Scotland's doing well, though. I mean, we're definitely expanding. And again, we're at 55% now, so we're only 25% away from fully controlling. Okay, looks like we have an, uh, someone jockeying to be court chaplain. How good are you? Sure. You're a hedonist, but you're ambitious, you're just, you're zealous. Wow, you're young, too. You're 27. Tell you what. Since you were so eager... Go proselytize. <laughs> what the actual hell? Will someone explain this to me? Like, everyone was saying, go here and convert their lands. Every single person I've sent over there has been imprisoned immediately. Please, somebody comment. I know you will, but I am dying to hear the explanation for that crap. I think I just gave it back to the old guy. The one who had it before. We're just going to have you research cultural tech, buddy. You just stay home. Because there's no point sending you over there. Oh, we have a better chancellor under Yulon. Okay, so it looks like we have a claim on the county of Derby. Let's go ahead and use it. And then you can keep trying to fabricate to where you can actually have a claim on the duchy. The lady almost ran me down as I entered the hall. Tearfully, she told me that my son Alistair had insulted her again. But my dear lady, you are fat. He's already honest, so it's costing him some intrigue and getting him some diplomacy. Um, I don't know. I feel like... Yeah, he needs to lose that trait. It's kind of throwing off his balance a little bit. My heart missed a beat when I saw Duff emerge from the dungeons, covered in grime with a bloody knife in his hand. It's time to teach Duff the right way. 
So he's gained the Brave trait. Very good. Extra martial, extra combat skill. So our air is shaping up to be just as awesome as we were in our youth, which is good news. So anyway, frustrating episode. Um, I hope my frustration was not too off-putting for anybody. I certainly didn't mean to be overly negative. Um, I hope that it was just a genuine and understandable moment of frustration, especially as I am admittedly uh, newer to a lot of the, the nuance of Crusader Kings 2, though I do have over 100 hours in this game, as is often the case with people playing Crusader Kings 2. You can play it for a long time and just not just not even scratch the surface of some of the details of the mechanics and that's one of the things that that gets to me about the game and i've mentioned this in the series is um as much as i enjoy it uh, there are so many aspects that maybe it's just too detailed to be intuitive but i do like my strategy games to be intuitive i like them to be detailed but i like them to be i like that balance and uh, there are not many strategy games out there that go for the level of detail that paradox does and i love it but i just the presentation of the detail the presentation of what's happening and why and how these things work um again maybe there's not a way to do it apart from just learning as we've discussed in the past uh some of my some of the people that have been regularly commenting have said that you know it's been a blast learning the details uh, which I agree with, you know, but at, at some point, you know, the I think the game should facilitate better the um, the learning process and the understanding process. And uh, it's moments like this that those that those frustrations kind of come to a head. So again, I apologize if if I if I was uh, overly frustrated. But um, and then there was what happened with the the court chaplain as well. I don't get that either. Especially considering that everyone was telling me to go convert these guys to Christianity. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go convert to Christianity. And they don't even last five seconds over there. They, they just don't. So I don't under... Like, something's not clicking. Maybe I missed something in the, the advice. Maybe someone said very specifically, you have to do it a certain way. And I miss... And I forgot about that. And I just tried to send them directly. And that was the wrong thing to do. I'll check. Who knows? But uh, we're still making progress, just not as rapidly as I thought we would this episode. So, at the end of the day, complaints aside, the series is moving forward. It's just, it's so unpredictable. And it's wonderful some episodes, because it just, it, it can be touching and exciting, and, and I, I really do mean touching. The game can really give you feels sometimes. <laughs> it can make you feel things. But uh, it can just be exciting and fun, but then sometimes the unpredictability is just a little bit too much. Like, I want to be able to predict what's, what's happening. So, anyway... Don't mean to complain. It's just an honest statement of, of feeling at present. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are not already. I upload new episodes in Lord of the Scots every day at noon Eastern Daylight Time, which is GMT minus four for those of you not in the States. And comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in a bit.